Hello, it's Scott Manley, and today I am spacewalking through the International Space Station in VR, thanks to Mission ISS, which is a free game on Oculus by Magnopus. Now, this is by no means the first uh, ISS simulator in VR, but it is the first one, which you allows you it, to grab parts of the structure and pull yourself through space just like you are an astronaut moving around inside pull, things. Now, I did actually move. play uh, another sim called fast. Earthlight at GDC, but this one literally came out of nowhere. Uh, it's Tiny. free on the Oculus Store, time, of course, if you have the right... Um, if you want to patch it using Revive, it will work just function. fine in the Good. HTC Vive. But yeah, it's... Uh, really cool little uh, representation of the interior of the ISS, although I have to say it's you on the ISS on your own with no friends at all. Well, no friends other than the instructional voices telling you how to fly around inside it. There's a lot of cool things to see in various places, although it looks like we don't have the entire ISS. We're missing the Russian section at the very least. You'll be able yeah, look, to here we are, moving through, quickly and, and what section is this we're in? <laughs> oh, it's, sometimes it's very hard. It looks like, some cargo like is I feel that my feet would be tree. flying through the floor Take there. The Obviously, that's not what's happening, storage. but that's what it feels like. Remember to press the grip button while you touch it's the bag. It's trying to tell me how to move around, and apparently my hand is stuck the there. Is really now, as well as turning hand. my head, I can also use controllers. There's uh, little joysticks on the touch controllers if I want to rotate. And you can use, on the left hand you have the ability to move, on the right hand you have the ability Remember to turn. To press the grip and that's important because, of course, it's a 3D environment, and you might want to actually flip the upside down. Really there we go. This is it. Oh, totally feels like we're moving through space here. Oh, and we've got the space laptop with the space Unix, and I've just gone and smashed the keyboard and probably caused the thing to, uh, you know, execute commands I had not intended. Oh, look, we get some storage here, and all these patches. These are all the mission patches there. Oh, hold on, let me try and grab right. that. Yes. You can use so we can grab some cargo that is floating around, and they're telling the me. To Go ahead find a and carry the bag it. forward into the module, where there's okay. storage space this for thing, supplies. Uh, this feels a little light. Now secure the bag. <laughs> you can leave it in the empty space with the rest it of the It is a really bizarre feeling that when uh, you hold so these packages sure and they move around so lost. easily, that it feels like they're they're inflatable. Right? It's like they, it doesn't feel like it weighs anything at all. It must be simply air. They're, they're just shipping packages of now air up to the, the space station. You can leave Here we go. Space with the rest Come of the on, let's see if I can get Things this into that empty space there. This frame so here, that is the space sure toilet. Is Come on, got it! Now let me try and find something to grab. Maybe I should swap hands. Let's do that. <laughs> it is kind of hard to do this, but there we go, we're well coming done. over. Yeah, oh, no, well done, no, we're floating away again. Congratulations. Come on. It looks I, like you're ready to begin the mission. Yes. Excellent. Now get in there. Oh, and so get in there. What is this? Is this cheese modules. and that's like string and, and you know wire cutters, cheese cutters? You see on cheese the station, wire. That's what they're right <laughs> index finger to point Could you imagine stringing cheese wire around the space controller. station like that? That would be if horrifically dangerous. Okay, so this is me using the space toilet, and if I turn around, I can see the hose. I can see, yep, International Space Station Orbital Outhouse Team. And if so, the way it's set up, kind of oh, those are the fascinating space toilet controls. And there you go, you can point at things, hold the button, and you get to see some videos. That's a pretty famous video by Suni Williams explaining how the the toilet works. It, this is on YouTube, you can go and check it out anytime uh, if you really are interested in that. Or you could of course watch my video on how uh, poop is handled in space. It's quite entertaining, but I'm not in zero G at the time, and my hairstyle is far more efficient than Sunni's. Okay, where are we going to go next? Grab this, just try to flick my way through. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the treadmill, I think. Actually, now I think about it, this is the Coal Burr, the Combined Operational Load-Bearing External Resistance Treadmill, which is really 
Uh, basically, when they were naming this module, they uh, put the thing out to the public vote, and in a Boaty McBoat face type incident, fans of the Colbert Report suggested it should be named after Stephen Colbert. They, of course, uh, got all the votes, but NASA wouldn't do it. Instead, they decided to name the treadmill after uh, this. So yeah, I guess that's SUNY Williams running the marathon, running 26 miles in space. I believe Tim Peake also did the same thing as well. Now, as well as like free exploration, there is some guided missions and things like that where they encourage you to go and do things. I've been tasked with trying to find the glove box. The glove box is a uh, experiment. Well, it's basically glove it's a glove box, box a right? Unit in which experiments can be yeah. Done in a safe so. Yeah, this is one of those machines where you stick your hands into the gloves and you can uh, handle stuff like super dangerous chemicals or toxins that would wipe out everyone in the space station. Very important if you're ever writing a sci-fi story about, you know, space disease on the space station being spread by spacemen and women. Here's Scott Kelly during stuff. Note 3 for capsule docking. Capsules. Okay, so we gotta find this. Right. So if you're too lazy to do all the floating around, what you can do is you can bring up the control pad, right, which is a little map of the station, and then just point your finger at where you want to go. So, yeah. Oh, we're back in tranquility. With all this stuff, space toilet, and where is the cupola module? The cupola module is, of course, the one with a window where you get to to see outside. Oh, it must be around there. Oh, there it is. Okay. So the only thing is that it's at my feet, so I need to kind of flip the whole thing upside down, and this is where the controls on the hand controllers actually manage matter. Because, I mean, sure, you could try and do a headstand while wearing a VR headset, but it's probably better just to flick yourself upside down. And now I can look upwards. There we go. And just pull myself into the cupola module where I can see the Earth below me. And also where I can get a nice view of the rest of the station to make sure that I can put stuff in, yeah, dock stuff and everything. That is the robot arm out there. And... I'm going to say, this looks like we're not moving particularly fast. I'm wondering if the developers have actually... I wonder if the developers have made the planet move. That would be a rather unfortunate oversight. Immersion breaking! I want my money back. Literally unplayable. I mean, I guess I should be able to hang out here for 45 minutes to watch the sunset, right? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Hmm, so I need to actually request that the spacecraft comes to me. Need a spacecraft a delivery on orbit? There's an app for that. I just need to push the button. Excellent! Now, let's try and dock this thing. Or, let's try and berth this thing. Docking is where the spacecraft has a active thrusters and is able to, you know, dock manually or whatever on its own. For birthing, you have to use the Canadarm, and I've actually edited out a couple of failed attempts so far. The Dragon Capsule is just kind of sitting there, and I need to try and hook this thing into its little uh, connector. Yeah, the, the grabbing end of the arm is actually really simple. It's like three wires which can be twisted around by a rotary mechanism, and that is very good at grabbing the... Uh, you're grabbing things by the ports or whatever. There's special extrusions that are designed to be grabbed by the arm. It's very nice. It self-regulates. You just don't want to stick your finger in it. <laughs> that could be bad. Again, another cheese wire problem. So the nice thing is that the controls are actually... So you don't control the joints directly. What you're doing is you're controlling relative to the camera on the end of the arm, right? So there's a camera that I'm looking out of here. 
So on the left, you can basically translate it left and right, up or down, and you can also pull it in and out to translate it forwards and backwards. On the right, I have a joystick, and again, you grab it, and you can either twist it, you know, yaw it, roll it, all that stuff. So there are two six-axis joysticks, one for translation and one for uh, rotation. And I am trying to find where the connector is. There's a green arrow floating in space. Once again, immersion breaking in the extreme. But never mind that. I'm still getting distracted by the fact that the Earth does not appear to be moving by at orbital speeds. There we go. So that's what we've got to stick the uh, robot arm into. And I guess we need to grab it at 90 degree angle, right? So I need to adjust the robot arm to go through that uh, connector exactly. This is uh, harder than it seems. <laughs> I I'm sure it would be a whole lot easier if I were not doing this in VR and I could actually read what I'm seeing here. Come on. That's right, so I'm rotating it to try and get it perpendicular to the connector. Now let's translate it over it. That's looking pretty good. And now so I push forwards and it should start moving in. Let's just try and get that. There we go. Ready to grab a dragon by its tail. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Just let's get it straight, exactly straight. Slide in here. Yes! I got a capsule by the tail! Okay, so we're just finishing up the docking here. And it looks like I need to line this thing up a little better. So the camera feed here is now coming from the capsule. Hundred million dollar supply mission? Never mind the fact that it's attached to a trillion dollar space station. Seriously. Hundred million dollars of supplies is nothing compared to the price of the rest of the hardware. And the hard effort that has been put into it by many countries. There we go. And we're just gonna slide that forwards. I think that's pretty good. Oh yeah, there's... Uh, you know what, I think I should have rotated my uh, capsule through 180 degrees, but it's too late now. I'm just gonna finish this docking. I should have done that when space station was not nearby. Gently does it. Excellent! Oh, whatever. Yeah, why don't you try it in VR? It's way harder, trust me. Okay, time to go for a walk. As soon as I can make this tablet appear. Yes, there's an app for that. That's me getting dressed sounds. It takes way longer than that to get dressed in a spacesuit. Immersion broken! We need you to make your way to the capsule and check for signs of micrometeorite penetration. Okay, um... Grab on to the exterior handbars and follow the path to get to the capsule. Wait, I don't have a tether to work with? Continue to the capsule. Okay, so apparently I'm just going hand over hand without using any tethers. That is not... Yeah, so that's one of those grab grasping points there, you see that? Be careful. I am being careful. I am feeling terribly afflicted by vertical looking down at the earth. Actually, that's just kidding. This is looking pretty awesome. Just need to stop and look around once I've finished with my job. So drag, colliding, whatever. Grabbing, hand over hand, over this. I'm gonna sneak through here. I think I can get... I probably could not get through here if it wasn't VR. It just doesn't do full-on body tracking. But I am like a ghost. A space ghost! Yes, I am passing through solid objects because I am merely a pair of hands and a head floating in space. Okay, I'm not sure I see many panels here. Let's just try grabbing random things. Well, yes. If it's good enough for the candid arm, it's good enough for me. If anything goes wrong with your tether, you'll float away. Always keep at least one hand on the station. What tether? I don't see a tether. This is highly irregular. You're telling me there's a tether there, but I can I don't see it. 
What is this? Invisible tether mission? That's what we're testing. Invisibility stuff. Okay. So we're now coming out to the end here. Where is... Oh, there it is. There... Oh, wait. Yeah. Is that the dragon capsule? Is that what that's supposed to be? Come on. Get down here. Alright. You'll need to make a pass all the way around the capsule. We'll confirm spacecraft integrity with your EMU camera. Okay. You know, I gotta say, now that I am up close next to this dragon capsule, that looks way too small. Like, my arms are able to stretch across this, and that feels totally wrong. Come in, ISS. Something was wrong with our readings. Capsule pressurization has been confirmed. Oh my god, you did not check that before sending someone out on an EVA without a tether? Return to airlock immediately. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I've tried another version. I tried something called Earthlight, which was still in the demo phase at, at GDC. It did the hands differently. It actually has the arms and the hands represented. This is, well, this is more complete than what Earthlight was, but then again, Earthlight looked a lot prettier when I saw it. But yeah, we're just moving over this. So yeah, if you've got an Oculus Rift, this is free. I mean, seriously, this is awesome. It's great that you've got this. If you've got a Vive, well, there's ways of making it work. I'm just going to use my safer pack to get off here. Or try to you know, zip around the outside of the spaceship. Safer packs are like smaller versions of the manned maneuvering unit used on this early space shuttle missions. The safer pack is just like a... a it only has like two meters per second of delta V, so that's pretty small. Whereas like the MMU had 25 meters per second. So this is just enough for an astronaut that has come off the station to make their way back. Anyway, as I said, it's available right now, Mission ISS, in the Oculus Store. Take a look at it if you've got a VR setup. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.